whether my screen is visible white board yes sir right so we have discussed the ild for continuous beam now today we will discuss ild for ild for two hinge arches as per your syllabus Okay. I will refer to hinge arches. Let on on new page. I will refer to hinge arches. Okay. Suppose this is one hinge. This is another hinge. Okay, suppose this is the two hinge arch having span is your L, and this is suppose point A, this is point B, this is C. Then this vertical distance is nothing but your H, right? So now this hinge is having reaction is R A. This reaction is R B, and suppose there is a horizontal thrust. This is called as E H. Okay, horizontal thrust that is nothing but your E H, right? Which is acting at A and B. There are two hinges at A and B. Now, in case of ILD for two hinge arches, we have to draw the ILD for four different parameters. Okay, what are those four different parameters? One, we have to draw the ILD, ILD for for horizontal thrust, horizontal thrust. horizontal thrust that is denoted by h second we have to draw the ild for bending moment of arch that is m then third we have to draw ild for we have to draw ild for normal thrust which is denoted by n then we have to draw ild we have to draw ild for radial shear we have to draw ild for radial shear that is denoted by es so in case of ild for two hinge arch we have to draw the ild for horizontal thrust h that is first one second we have to draw ild for bending moment of arch that is m look at any section then we have to draw the ild for normal thrust that is n okay then we have to draw the ild for the radial shear that is nothing but your yes right so whatever the theoretical part of the two hinge arches okay that is two hinge parabolic arches two hinge parabolic arches okay whatever the theoretical part or whatever the formula of your calculating the 
horizontal thrust that is derivation of the horizontal thrust it will require one and a half hour for derivation so that is already you have studied in at your ug level so i am not going in the detail of the uh, deriving the formula of the uh, h that is a horizontal thrust for the parabolic arch so as i am taking directly the formula of the h then next we have to find out the bending moment at any section in case of two hinge arch okay then we have to draw the bending uh, sorry ild for the normal thrust n okay by taking any point okay at that particular point we have to apply the two forces one is called as your horizontal thrust and second is nothing but the vertical reaction at that particular point depending upon that we have to find out the value of normal thrust and the radius shear that is nothing but yes right suppose okay you can write down that this parallel okay you can write down this parallel so i will clear this right suppose consider two hinge parabolic arch consider two hinge consider a two hinge parabolic arch parabolic arch okay of a span please write down of a span l and rise h right consider two hinge arch, parabolic arch of a span l and uh, rise h now please draw the two hinge arch right so at a there is a hinge at b another hinge a b then crown that is point c suppose the rise is taken as your h then the span is taken as small l then reaction at a is ra reaction at b rb there is a horizontal thrust h is acting like this at a this is the horizontal thrust at b right then consider the any point d consider any point d where we have to apply the 1 kilo newton load as per the theory of the ild and then we have to take the distance from a up to the 1 kilo newton load that is x right so this is two hinge arch ab at a reaction ra at b r reaction rb <coughs> the length span of the arch is your small l rise is your h then taking any point taking any point that is d 
apply the one kilonewton load at that particular point d then that point d is taken at distance x from left hinge that is from a up to the unit load that is from left end up to the unit load okay the distance is taken as x right is is it over shall i proceed yes sir shall i proceed yes sir yes or no yes sir proceed please draw this true hinge arch it is very simple as you have done for the beam सिंपल बीम सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम लगे अपन के लिए सीम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम लगे सेम लाइक इट इज कन्सिडर ओके फॉर द टू इंच आर्च बट दन फॉर्मुला दैट इज ये चीज लिटल विथ लंदी सो वी हेव टेकन द फॉर्मुला डायरेक्टली एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी हेव टू ड्रॉ द आई एल डी फॉर द डिफरंट केसेस शाल प्रोसीड ओके देन फर्स्ट we have to draw the ild for horizontal thrust h we have to draw the ild for horizontal thrust h horizontal thrust h right now as a and b are hinge therefore moment at that particular hinge is zero so now if i am taking the moment about b and equate to zero so ra into l minus 1 into l minus x is equal to zero is it correct therefore correct sir therefore ra is equal to this value already you have calculated in a first or second lecture that is ild for simply supported beams determinant structure so this is the value of ra this is the value of ra okay shall i proceed shall i proceed yes sir theek hai uh ek aur navish yes, page varti fresh page varti uh, ild draw karna sathi uh, blank theva ek ek single page the single page varti apan chari sudha ild draw karuya manje ka kali ek ale ki lakshat hai or at the end you can also draw okay kyon mag atta se ek lift kela tari chalel okay calculation next page var kela tari chalel so now R is known to you. Now we have to apply the summation of F Y, and then we have to find out the R B. Apply summation. F Y is equal to zero. R A plus R B is equal to one. So after simplifying, you get R B is equal to X by L. I think this values already it is known to you. we have calculated in a simple